John Lennon explained why there is no point to reunite with the band. John Lennon's rift with Paul McCartney was not the reason why the Beatles legend explained he would never reunite after the slow death of the disintegrating band, which he dismissed in blunt terms. Of course, fans never had the chance to find out if Lennon would ever change his mind. Sadly, the rift between the band's member was never properly healed, and Lennon always stuck to his conviction that he, and the other three members, was better off outside the Beatles. Fans and critics may view them as one of the greatest creative forces in popular music, but Lennon was brutally dismissive and revealed his desperation to get out. Lennon gave a no-holds-barred interview in October 1971. Asked about hopes for a reunion, Lennon said, I can't see, there's no reason why we should ever play together. He blamed the restrictive structure of being in the band and the deadening pressure to conform to what the record label and fans wanted. Lennon said, Listen to the music. Would George have ever flourished like that if we'd carried on with the group? No chance. There was no room. He went even further describing his work with McCartney. It's far better music because we're not suppressed. In the Beatles, by the time the Beatles were at their peak, we were cutting each other down to size. We were limiting our capacity to write and perform by fitting it into some kind of format, and that's why it caused trouble. Lennon was often rather dismissive of some of the Beatles' material. Towards the end of the group, he also implied his joint McCartney compositions were rather lightweight. He said, I told everyone years ago I'm not going to be singing She Loves You When I'm 30. I was 30 last year and it was then when I broke the band up or I decided to leave. I don't know when they decided it or whatever. That's when it happened. I knew I wouldn't be doing the same thing. It just doesn't work like that. It's like a rugby team. Sometimes you just have to get married and leave the boys on a Saturday night. That's just how it is. Lennon bluntly admitted the problems had started years before that. The Beatles were disintegrating slowly after the band's manager, Brian Epstein, died in 1967. It was a slow death. It was evident in Let It Be, early 1969. It was evident in India when George and I stayed there and Paul and Ringo left. And it was evident on The White Album, 1968. The White Album was released as The Beatles and widely acknowledged to be like four solo albums with little overlap between the work of the band members. Starr also briefly left the band during recording. Lennon added, I couldn't say no categorically on the Bible or a grapefruit. I swear we'd never play together under any circumstances. I have no idea. But personally, I don't see any reason to form that group again. Paul has his new band. I have a new band, no doubt George will have a band, and Ringo will have a band. Lennon had formed the Plastic Ono Band with Yoko Ono, and McCartney released a smash hit solo album in 1970 before forming the band Wings in 1971. The other three reunited after his untimely death, but Lennon was correct in his prediction and never shared a stage or studio again with all his former bandmates.